All right, so this one's a little bit different. We are at a home center and, and we are going to grab some consumer MDF. Well, we gathered up some materials. Uh, this is the Aroco standard true pan that we got from the home center. We have Excel Max Plus and MedX. We use kind of a combination of the two materials depending on the product. The Excel Max is what we use in the styles and rails of our five piece MDF doors. And when people generally think of MDF, they're thinking of the MDF from the home center. So that's why I wanted to put that in the running. So what we're gonna do for the test, as you can see, we've got the fish tank here. Behind me, I've got the whiteboard with some specs that we're gonna go through. And basically what I did is I cut all the components uh, of the MDF to what's hopefully the same measurement. We'll find out for sure when we mic it, but we're going to take measurements uh, before we drop it in, let it do a 24 hour soak, pull it out and redo the measurements and take a look at the material. Oh, let's do our measurements. Have some washers and just some rubber bands. And then again, the fish tank filled with water. And we're just gonna go ahead and drop them in and let them soak. All of the materials attached with the washers. The washers are there just simply to let them sink for the soak test. Let's go ahead and set them in. We're just about wrapped up with our soak test. I do have duplicate samples um, of each of the materials and kind of like everything else in life, there's multiple grades, right? Not all MDF is created equally. So again, the Rocco standard true pan is something that you'd see at a home center, uh, something that the consumer might know from a different piece of furniture they may bought that's a lesser quality that had issues with. Excel Max and MedX are a higher grade, uh, more of a furniture grade material. And what these two have that's different than a normal MDF is called an MR rating or a moisture resistant rating. Key differences are gonna be the fibers, and then the resins that are used to actually construct the panels. We've had the samples soaking for about 24 hours now and we're ready to take them out. We've got a towel here just to kind of dry off any excess water. We also have our sink mat here just in case any is left on the material. And then we have our control samples. So these are dry, cut out of this exact same piece of material um, that our original samples were made out of. Let's go ahead and get these things out of the water. Before the soak, after the soak, you can see just how much each one of the materials moved. Again, this is the standard MDF that most people on the consumer side are referencing and you can see just how dramatic that difference is compared to the ones with moisture resistance. Let's take some measurements and jot them down. As you can see from our test, there is a clear difference between a moisture rated MDF and a consumer MDF. If you wanted to know more about our measurements and findings, I'll be posting a PDF in the link for the video, as well as the manufacturer spec sheets for each one of the materials that we did. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more cabinet and material content.